Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be diving into some of the advanced settings of the BLE Shark Nano. Now this device has a really cool trick where it creates a captive portal and within that portal you're able to configure settings. And it's more GUI based and that makes it much more user friendly. And we're going to dive into some settings that I recommend you set up when you get your device. As I'm recording this I have the prototype device, one of the first prototypes, and this device will be released in 2025 in March. So you'll already be ahead of the game once you see this video. First step you're going to go to settings and then go to extra settings and now you can need to connect it over Wi-Fi. So you're going to see the BLE Shark settings. Go ahead and connect to that. Your username and password will be on the device. Go ahead and plug that into the cap the portal that's going to pop up once you try connecting and now you're looking at the advanced settings captive portal so one thing you need to do first and just for your eyes save your eyes go ahead and put the dark mode on really nice feature to have it's in the top right corner if you can't find it so let's go through all the settings together so the first thing you're going to see here is the wi-fi settings that's when you first set up your device you get to pick a wi-fi network to do the updates but if you need to change it that's where you go um, the next thing is going to be security settings so here i would turn off uh, enable random password um, this way you can just come up with a simple login uh, it's not the best for security but for me because i'm constantly going in and out of settings touching this and testing this thing and uh, i would recommend doing that if you're someone that's going to be uh, configuring this a lot so it's as simple as just plugging the password you want and the username you want um, and just making sure that is uh, random password is disabled and uh, one other thing emergency mode it's a really cool mode on this device um, anytime you're in the middle of doing something you can hold the two buttons on the right and left and it will jump you into a game uh, kind of like a security measure I uh, just want to hide what you're doing I mean you'd be doing the ethical stuff anyway but after talking with Infi Shark Tech I think they're going to be enabling this feature as default as of right now it isn't but I think once you guys get your hands on this device it will be enabled so you're going to see here that you could change the cadences how fast you want things to work and how many networks you want to spam at once um, this is all in milliseconds so uh, I have mine set pretty low because I would want to spam as much as possible at any given time and this is your evil portal settings uh, you can change your SSID if you would like I just uh, like the default where it just says free Wi-Fi if you want you could change the HTML file um, the one that comes with is pretty good it's just the Google sign -in. and uh, over here is for check updates you can check the updates right here in the um, advanced settings or you can just do it on the device itself you can actually even click on and off uh, automatic updates I would just leave it on. I mean, the device is meant to be user-friendly. Might as well keep it that way. All right, app settings. This is important. So this is where you do your bad USB stuff. This is where you upload your file, uh, your payload. This is also where you have your keypad settings as well as text viewer file upload. So that's pretty much it. That's about all the advanced settings for the BLE Shark Nano. Uh, I really love that they use a captive portal to work on the settings like I think that's a really good innovative idea if I hear anything else or any other updates I'll let you guys know uh, if it's not too late to back this project on Kickstarter even though it's well past its funding goals um, it's for under $40 you can pick this device up in the US and it ships anywhere again this product's gonna be releasing in March of 2025 and it ships anywhere so go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description to the Kickstarter here. I'm really excited about this product. I really like that it's so user-friendly. And that's why it's one of my favorite cybersecurity products that I have in my office. I'm working hard every day testing this device and taking it with me so I can give the best feedback I possibly can to InfiShark Tech. really do appreciate them sending me this prototype, and I look forward to the future of this device. So remember, everyone, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.